Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn and for this video, we're going to discuss angles for by second and tangent. So, let's go! Before we proceed with the angles formed by second and tangent, let's review first the definition of second line and tangent line. So let's have second line. A second line is a line that intersects a circle in exactly two points. So if you have a circle and you have a line passing through the circle intersecting the circle at two points, for this one we have point B and point C, then you have line BC is a second line of circle A. Then the tangent line is a line that intersects a circle in exactly one point which is called the point of tangent C. So let's have this line intersecting the circle at exactly one point which is point D. Then we can say that line DE is a tangent of circle A. Then point D is the point of tangent C of tangent DE. Now that we already know the definition of second and tangent, we can now proceed with the angles formed by second and tangent. So obviously, when a tangent and a second or two tangents or two seconds intersect, angles are formed. And when the angles form, angles may form inside the circle, just like this one. On the circle, just like these two angles, these are two angles formed on the circle, or outside the circles just like these three angles that we have here so now let's have first the angles form inside the circle by second and tangent so let's have angle formed by two seconds intersecting inside the circle so if you have a circle and in that circle we have second a b and second c d intersecting inside the circle at point e then we will have angles that form by two seconds intersecting inside the circle. So for this one, we have angle AEC and angle DEB are the angles formed inside the circle by intersecting seconds. So since we have your angles form on our circle, we also have intercepted arc. For this one, we have arc AC and arc DB are the intercepted arcs of our angles formed by two seconds intersecting inside the circle. And notice that these two angles are actually vertical angles. So if you want to find the measure of angle form inside the circle, you're just going to get the measure of angle form inside the circle is equal to one half of the sum of its intercepted arc of the vertical angles. So for this one, we can say that if you want to find the measure of angle AEC, that is equal to wahanap of arc AC plus arc DB. So for example, let's have arc AC is equal to 79 degrees and arc DB is equal to 37 degrees. If you want to solve for angle AEC, we're just going to replace arc AC with 79 and arc DB with 37. And that will give us measure of angle AEC is equal to one half of 79 plus 37 which will give us 1 half of 116 and that will give us 58. So measure of angle AEC is equal to 58 degrees. And obviously, since angle AEC and angle DEB are vertical angles, then angle DEB is equal to 58 degrees as well. Okay, so that's it for the angles formed inside the circle. So now let's proceed with the angles form on the circle. So the first one is the angle formed by two seconds intersecting on the circle. So let's have a circle. Then let's have second AB and second CD. Since second AB and second CB intersect at point B, which is point on the circle, then the angle form is an angle form on the circle. So for this one, Angle ABC is an angle formed by two seconds intersecting on the circle. So since we have here an angle on the circle, we also have intercepted arc. And for this one, that is arc AC. So if you want to solve for the measure of angles formed on the circle, 
then the measure of angles formed on the circle is equal to one half of its intercepted arc. So therefore, on this picture, we can say that the measure of angle ABC is equal to one half of arc AC. So for example, we have here arc AC 78 degrees. If you want to solve for the measure of angle ABC, we're just going to replace AC with 78 degrees and that will give you measure of angle ABC is equal to one half of 78 degrees. And that will give you 39 degrees. So the measure of angle ABC is equal to 39 degrees. Okay, so let's have another angle form on the circle. So this time, we have angle formed by tangent and secant intersecting on the circle. So let's have a circle with secant CB and tangent CD. So notice that we have here a second and tangent intersecting at point C, which is point on the circle. This is the angle formed by tangent and second intersecting on the circle. So angle BCD is the angle formed by tangent and second intersecting on the circle. Then arc BC is our intercepted arc. So again, if you want to get the measure of your angle, you're just going to use this one. The measure of angle formed on the circle is equal to one half of its intercepted arc. So therefore, we can say that angle BCD is equal to one half of arc BC. So for example, we have arc BC is equal to 162 degrees and we want to solve for the measure of angles BCD. Then we can just simply have measure of angle BCD is equal to one half of 162 which is equal to 81 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle BCD is equal to 81 degrees. So okay, so that's it for the angles formed on the circle. Now let's have the angles formed outside the circle. So the first one is the angle formed by two seconds intersecting outside the circle. So let's say we have a circle and we have two seconds intersecting outside the circle. Second AB and second ED intersecting at point C which is outside the circle. Then we're going to have angle form which is angle ACE is an example of angle formed by two seconds intersecting outside the circle. Notice the angle ACE will encase two arcs or two portions of your circle. So the first one is arc AE and the other one is arc BD. So these are actually the intercepted arcs of angle ACE. So if you want to get the measure of angles formed outside the circle, then you will have this one. The measure of the angle formed outside the circle is equal to one half of the difference of its intercepted arcs. So for this one, we're going to have measure of angle ACE is equal to one half of arc AE minus arc BD. So when you take the difference of the intercepted arcs, you are going to have bigger arc minus smaller arc, just like what we have here, AE minus BD. So let's say we have AE is equal to 108 degrees and BD is equal to 46 degrees and you want to find the measure of angle ACE, then we will have measure of angle ACE is equal to one half of 180 degrees, the bigger arc, minus 46 degrees. And that will give us one half of 62, which is equal to 31 degrees. So therefore, uh, the measure of angle ACE is equal to 31 degrees. Okay, so let's have another angle form outside the circle. So let's have angle form by second and tangent intersecting outside the circle. So we have your circle with second DE and tangent HG intersecting at point G which is outside the circle. So now we're going to have angle HGE as an angle form by second and tangent intersecting outside the circle. And notice that we also have two intercepted arcs for this angle. So the first one is arc HD and the other one is arc HE. So if we're going to look for the measure, we're going to have the measure of angle form outside the circle is equal to one half of the difference of its intercepted arcs. So therefore, we will have measure of angle HGE is equal to one half of arc HD minus arc HE. So let's say that arc HD is equal to 212 
and arc HE is equal to 56 degrees and you want to solve for angle HGE. Then we will have angle HGE is equal to 1 half of 212 degrees minus 56 degrees. So that will give you 1 half of 156 which will give you 78 degrees. So therefore measure of angle HGE is equal to 78 degrees. Okay, so let's have the last angle formed outside the circle and that is angle formed by two tangents intersecting outside the circle. So let's have a circle with tangent FA and tangent FD intersecting at point F outside the circle. So we're going to have angle AFD as the angle formed by two tangents intersecting outside the circle. And we also have two intercepted arcs. And those arcs are arc AED, the bigger arc, and arc ABD, which is the smaller arc. These are the intercepted arcs of angle AFT. So to get the measure, we're going to have the measure of the angle formed outside the circle is equal to one half of the difference of its intercepted arcs. So therefore, we're going to have measure of angle AFD is equal to one half of arc AED minus arc ABD. So let's say that the measure of arc AED is equal to 252 and the measure of arc ABD is equal to 108. So notice that the two uh, intercepted arcs will form the whole circle when you combine the two. So therefore, the sum of the measures of your intercepted arcs must be 360 degrees. So if you want to solve for the measure of angle AFD on our figure, then we will have measure of angle AFD is equal to 1 half of 252 minus 108. And that will give you 1 half of 144, which is 72 degrees. So the measure of angle AFD is equal to 72 degrees. So the angles formed by second and tangent are actually divided into three. Angles may form inside the circle, so just like this one. And if you want to get the measure of your angle here, you simply get the one half of the sum of the intercepted arcs. Or angle may form on the circle, just like the two angles that we have here. And if you want to get the measure of your angle here, you're just going to get the one half of its intercepted arc. And the last one are the angles formed outside the circle, which are the three angles that we have here on the circle. And the measure of these angles are equal to one half of the difference of their intercepted arcs. So, okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and hope you have learned something from this video.